I didn't know what it was saying. Yeah, this is right. Okay. Did you see the scramble this? Did you see the scramble this? Air heated. Did you decide the third group of letters unscrambled and scrambled right, 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 right. So that's a word. See, right. Um, mm -hmm. Chimney? Machine. 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 What the f is an air heated machine? Shh, 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 shh. Air heated machine. Air heated machine. Air heated machine. Air heated machine. Gosh, that's a mouse trap. I had a feeling it was it was the dryer. I mean, what other machine is in here? Oh, air dryer! 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 Get in the dryer! It's in the dryer! Go! No! No! Yes! 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 Oh, yes! We were here! Yes! Oh, thank God! Oh, dude! Oh, we went to the hot tub for a stool! You know what you're doing. I'm a computer illiterate. This luxury competition was huge. Everyone was just really hungry uh, to see what their website looked like. Is that before you dyed your hair? Yeah. I liked it the other color better. Honestly, it's still really hard to believe that that you know that <laughs> that we're on a TV show and people are watching and they're interested in because it just doesn't seem real. We're in here. We haven't seen anyone other than ourselves except for today. Thank God the uh, Survivor crew came in and uh, saved our sanity a little bit. I know it's weird, but it's awesome. All right, it's awesome. Thank you, sir. Oh, honey, I told you. How are the rats? We never ate them. Jervis ate them? Yes. I speared one once. You yep. taught me how to hunt them. They basically hunt them. I can't believe they want to hang out with me. I get to make them dinner tonight. How cool is that? Don't, just don't ask. Okay. You'll like it. <laughs> I've been here a day, and I love it. I'm having a great time. In Survivor, you can walk away from your camp, and you can get away from people, and there's this element of nature that's there that's very beautiful and relaxing to me and that doesn't exist here you have to f find your little space here which to me would be really difficult oh my god it is place? beautiful Just yeah yeah <laughs> Like hey, everyone remember that everything we eat here is very spicy, so if you can't handle it, okay. sorry. No, listen, love spicy. I got the impression that these poor people have been locked in here for a long time with no outside stimulation at all. They were so happy to see us. I've never seen any of you guys eat with silverware. They were totally excited. I think they needed a little diversion from the drama that's uh, going on in the house. So we were excited, totally excited. And so were they. And we're still excited. It's just a love fest in here. <laughs> I'm really glad that you guys are here. It's been Thanks a wonderful for evening. Us. Thank you so oh, much. Thank you. Thank you. Once you get out of this and you get back in the real world, you'll you unattach so your fast. Life and you look back on this experience. Well, I even told you, I was like, listen, sure. man, like, I apologize uh, to them for saying what I said, but at the time, I was just really. Oh, no, yeah. Really I hated her. her. After I hated this bitch. Yeah, we hated each other. He sucked. But it. After it's over, it's like, think about what we did. Yeah. And you look back on the people that pissed you <laughs> off and the things you said and did to them, and you regret it. And the same people that you're go going against now, you'll be best friends with outside of this environment that you're in right now. Yeah, That's it's the, the thing environment. That's the most, me hanging out with you in the real world. You guys are probably the best friends, and it's, you probably it's crazy. Nicole, you'll name your firstborn Will. No, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for a wonderful day, you guys. Wow. Keep your head on, girl. I'm trying Straight. to, baby. I'm trying. Straight. <laughs> hey, just for ratings, could you guys bang? Well. <laughs> <laughs> Is that unreasonable? Get up. Get up. It's time to get up. We're only here a few more hours, so show me shine. Oh, they did it in good stride. See how long it takes them to get up, but that was priceless. That was I was in my bed. It and pissed I me it. off, you but I just want to shake your hands too. Oh, God, just, I just that's I woke so up. you. I'm like, okay. <laughs> the biggest difference in playing Big Brother and playing Survivor is a very tough. 
question to answer. I think that they're both difficult. The last two weeks was three quarters of a cup of rice in the morning, three quarters of a cup at night. Ever since the Survivor people showed up, the biggest thing that we've been talking about is which show was more difficult. Well, you know, in my own mind, I had to make comparisons. One time we ran out of dental floss, man, I thought I was going to freak out. Oh, no. It's like, get me out of here. Outwit, outplay, outlast. Those things apply on Big Brother. The same three things that, that apply for Survivor apply here. Psychologically, it might be longer and harder, but it outweighs, it weighs the difference that? with having all the food, the oh. shower. Sue was telling me that one time it was really hot, and to cool off, they had to go into the um, ocean, and it was just really, you know, stung them because they had little cuts. Well, one time I had a blister on my foot from playing basketball, and I was in the hot tub, and it was too warm, so I had to move to the pool. Flush uh, toilet, toilet, toilet paper. paper. I understand, I understand what I mean, so it's balanced. Just like These guys are with each other all the time in this confined space, so, like, even if they get on each other's nerves, there's nowhere to run or hide from it. All right, what, people, Jervis told me that one day they had a chicken in a cage and a Komodo dragon came and ripped up the chicken and killed it and ate it. Well, one day when I was at the pool, Ophelia snuck in the house and ate a whole loaf of white bread. Right. We didn't have a pen, we didn't have right. nothing, right. nothing that you used to have it. As far as I'm concerned, everything's pretty equal. They're both very difficult shows. I want to say thank you to our special guests. Absolutely. Now that we have guests with us, it's going to put a, a different twist on the meeting. Thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedules to... Kick your hey. ass. Hey. <laughs> Take your oh, yeah. That's right. Take our money, kick our ass. Yeah, okay, whatever. Eat your food. Uh, whatever. <laughs> Are there any interpersonal issues that you guys would like to discuss? Not that haven't been really Oh, please have a fight while we're already. here. Somebody fight with I would Sam. ever. You know, well, I mean, we'd have to, we'd have to start it on Will again. Will, you're a demeaning, dehumanizing jackass. Okay? I understand. <laughs> she smiles. <laughs> if you have any advice for us leading into the end of the final weeks, what would you, any advice for us? I think the fact that you four are still here at the end of all of this says a lot for all of your characters, and you made it this far. So I think now you guys can just, like, have a good time. I mean, of course, you have to play smart still. You're still playing the game. But have a good time. Just try not to think of anything negative at all. And just try to be positive about everything that happens from this point forward. And I think everything will be good when you leave here. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate that. For me, when I did my thing, it was, I said I was never going to hate anybody after playing the game. And I think you guys should do the same thing. If you can look back on it and say you had fun, which you probably will the whole time, <laughs> it's going to be a beautiful thing. So that's my thing. You know. Thank you, Mr. G. Well, Jeff. Yes, ma'am. Would you like to give us any advice? I would love to. In these last few days, just try to have fun and be light and appreciate what you have because there are a lot of people in this world that would kill to be in your position. You better stop. Absolutely. And so when I see you upset and depressed and, and crying or whatever, it, it hurts me because I, I see you taking it so personally and so <laughs> intentionally. And I'm, I fear that you might regret that when this is over with. And you'll, you'll change, and you'll get to a point where this means nothing, and you'll look back on it, and you'll love everybody, even him. You two are going to be the best friends, I swear to God. Oh, we know that. <laughs> you really will. I haven't hated anyone who's left here, but I do get depressed and angry, but we have, you guys know, I mean, there's no outlet in here. I will say, too, I'm not going to say I, had, I hated people and didn't hate people, but my perception of the four of you guys coming into this game is vastly different now that I've spent time with you. Really? The person that I thought was going to win, I now think someone else may win. We shouldn't have said that. Now we're all sitting here going. The went on behind all your bags you don't know about. What a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you for my fifteen thousand dollars. Oh, <laughs> well, I got to Amen. Oh, yeah. Okay, Suki Suki Sue. It's a half a million bucks. <laughs> So when it gets on the final three, if you guys are clawing each other's eyes out for it, I don't blame you. I mean, it's just a game, big thing. Everybody's covered a lot of stuff. So it's just a game, but damn it, play it hard. Show me a good loser, and I'll show you guys a loser. Okay, this is the moment where the nominees speak to the group and indicate why they should not be voted out of the house. All I have to say is to the Survivor people, thank you and Hardy. I'm not going to get emotional. <laughs>